yeah, geez, wow, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. <laughs> Hope everyone's been doing well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been uh, it's been it's been a tough road for sure. I mean, this is uh, it's kind of like a, a new and, and and different you know situation that you know I for one am not an expert at all, right? So I've tried to just inform myself as much as possible and speak and and meet with as many doctors and get as many opinions and you know try and learn as much as I can about the whole situation. So. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been tough. I mean, you know, more than anything, like, I mean, not playing is, is is the toughest part about it. I mean, that's that's what I love to do. And you know, twenty four years old. I mean, you know, there's nothing I want to be doing more than playing hockey and competing and being on the ice every day. So, I think the mental side of it has has been tough for sure. Um, kind of not knowing where this is going to go. Um, to touch on the surgery aspect, yeah, there's definitely an opportunity, a situation where. It could it could still require uh, surgery, so um, you know I'm trying to trying to keep an open mind about what can happen. But um, more than anything, I, I just kind of want to fix the situation, get healthy, prepare for next season. Hey Jack, John Warrell, uh, good to see you. Um, just uh, to follow up on that. It, well, it sounds like you feel that you are confident you'll be available for next season. And, but my, actual, my, my other question was, um, you know, we, we hear about hope and, 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 and this team possibly turning the corner. Um, what did you see out of this team and, and how much, you know, is there hope that this team can finally turn things around? Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it's definitely a different perspective being, uh, you know, being out of the lineup and, you know, kind of going through this experience where you're just watching every game from from afar and, you know, being able to talk to the guys and get their perspective on how things were, you know, how things were different and how things ran under Donnie. Um, you know, guys are really positive about it. It seems like the, the mood's good. It seems like guys are, you know, guys are excelling. It's, you know, I mean, you guys watch the games just like I do. It seemed like some guys started to take off and, and play better. And I think that there's definitely a positive to that. I'm, you know, I obviously didn't speak with you guys uh, after, after uh, you know, Ralph got fired. Uh, you know, that's that's always a it's a it's a tough uh, situation. It's a tough situation, you know, for an organization. You know, for players, it's you know, it's hard. It's uh, you know, Ralph is a phenomenal human being, and you know, somebody that uh, you know, I hope to continue to have a relationship with the rest of my life. I think he's just, I think he's just, I think the world of Ralph as a human being, and. Um, you know, but I, I, I have heard a lot of really good things and, and, and the response from the guys has been good in terms of, you know, how Donnie came in and implemented, you know, his system and how he got guys to play. And so, you know, it's definitely good. I mean, you, you've seen some, you know, positivity over the last however many 25 games or so. And it's been um, it's been nice to see. It's been nice to see some guys step up in different roles and, and have some success. You know, I think it's been. It's been great. It's good for the organization. It's good for some of these young guys that are getting these opportunities and, um, you know, some other guys who, um, you know, were kind of, you know, brought to the forefront. And, you know, obviously the goaltending situation, that's been an interesting one with, uh, with all the injuries. But I think it's been, uh, it's been great to watch some of these guys step in and play. I mean, you know, Michael Hauser, I think it's been, uh, you know, probably a whirlwind week for him. It's, it's really cool to see him get that experience and, and get to play. And, and obviously, uh, you know, play well. So, um, you know, I think there's some positivity to be positivity to be shown. Jack, um, I don't think any of us thought we were going to be sitting or talking about the same thing this year that we talked about last year, as far as being in last place and, and the whole thing. And I've been around you long enough to know for sure how you feel about losing and how much you despise it. And you've, you've talked about it many times. What is your mindset now after this year? How do you feel about it? And have things changed in your mind? Do you still want to be part of the solution? Would you like to move on elsewhere? How do you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a pretty, it's a pretty loaded question. I think there's a lot to it. I think, uh, you know, for sure, I, I, I would say I, I've been a bit upset about the way that things have been handled since I've been hurt. Um, I wouldn't uh, I'd be lying to say that, that things have, have moved smoothly. 
since my injury. Um, so yeah, I think that there's been uh, there's been a bit of a disconnect, I think, from from the organization a bit and, and myself. And um, you know, it's been it's been tough at times, but you know, right now for me, I think the uh, I think the most important thing is just trying to get healthy and figure out a way to be uh, available to play hockey next year. Uh, you know, wherever that might be. I mean, um, I think. You know, the losing, losing stuff, it takes a toll. I think it's all perspective. And, um, yeah, I guess, we'll, I guess we'll see what happens, Paul. It, it's, I think there's a lot to that question. I think in the situation that I'm in right now, you know, my main and, and number one focus has been to try and figure out a way to, you know, one, be cleared to play, and, and two, just try and get myself in as good of condition to be be ready to have a good year next year. Hi, Jack. Um, I guess, you know, I had a different question, but now you bring up something else. What are you most upset about with the organization since the injury? And is there any implication there? Were you playing hurt before that Long Island game? Did the neck thing happen before that? Or what's the situation there? I think everyone probably plays hurt. You know, in a season like this, I think everyone deals with things. I was dealing with stuff just like everyone else. So, you know, before that, I, I, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that, uh, you know, that, I mean, I, I, I dealt with injuries just like everyone else does, you know, maybe some worse than others. Obviously you had the, the ankle sprain in, in New Jersey, missed a few games for that. Obviously I, I broke a rib on the ice before the season. Um, probably like a few weeks before training camp. So that was sort of the reason that I wasn't available at the start of training camp. Um, I fractured the tip of my rib shooting too, actually, which is pretty interesting. It was a non, uh, non-physical or I didn't take a hit or anything. I was, I was on the ice at the Harbor Center and, um, you know, just too much torque on, on the tip of my rib and fractured. So I had to let that heal. So, you know, and then I, I had a uh, – abdominal injury that I that I hurt last year um and it's just it's to be honest with you it's just lingered for a while and uh it's it's been really hard to pinpoint what the exact issue is there's there's some some stuff that uh that has been unresolved and I think with COVID last year the shutdown it, it definitely put a pause on I think the healing or the treatment that I probably would have gotten and not being able to travel and do things so just dealt with that a little bit and uh but listen I mean it's a it's a tightened schedule it's a hard season um you know I, my own opinion we played in the hardest division in the league and you know you're playing every other night we had a COVID shutdown in the middle of the year for two weeks you know tightened our schedule up even more you know so I, I'm sure that you know if you went to any team I think guys are guys are probably playing with stuff so um I don't want to make that an excuse for you know, two goals or whatever I had. Like, I mean, when I was in the lineup, I definitely didn't contribute and play as well as I needed to play and, and as well as this team needed me to play. And that's that's just the hard truth. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. I was not good enough. And, um, you know, I can look myself in the mirror and say, yeah, you weren't good enough this year. Like, the times where you were in the lineup, you weren't good enough. So, you know, that's – I just got to be better. You know, I got to be a better hockey player. And um, – that's what it comes down to, you know, got to get healthy and get myself prepared for next year, but got to be better. Hi, Jack. Adam Benini uh, with Channel 2. It's good to see you. And I, nice to I, see I you. Go, I want to go back to uh, Paul's question and your response there. And I, I know it's a loaded one, right? Uh, but when you say you want to be healthy, obviously, to play hockey next year, wherever that may be, um, it, it, I got to ask you again about that. I mean, at your stage of your career with this organization, to have not played in a playoff game at this point, um, and, and questions about the future, including the head coach and all of that, I guess when I hear you say that, it begs the question, have you requested a trade? Have you expressed your openness to being traded? What is your mindset long-term about continuing to be a part of this organization, given where it's been and where it may go? 
yeah, I mean, I'm I'm frustrated. I'm sure if you went down the if you went down the line in the locker room, I'm sure everyone's frustrated. So I'm not in any any different situation than anyone else. You 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 can't sit here on media day and be happy that uh, you know we're having this conversation and you know we should still be playing. Like that should be everyone's mindset, right? It should be you know we're moving on to the playoffs and you know we had a good year and and we're gonna try and you know win a Stanley Cup. That's that that should be the goal of of you know, every player at the beginning of the year, every team, um, you know, and that was our goal when we started whenever in December, um, did we reach it? No. Did we you know, have a hard year? Yeah, we did. And I think when that happens, it, it forces everyone to, you know, just consider what, you know, what I guess you could do better, what, what, what you think maybe the future holds, um, you know, I, I think I have a lot of thinking to do in this off season. I think that there's a lot that, uh, that I have to consider and, um, you know, but, but for now, obviously, uh, you know, I'm here, I, I, I'm the captain of this hockey team and, uh, and, you know, my, uh, my goal is to be available and, and to try and help the guys in the room and help this, this organization win hockey games. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll continue to do that as long as I'm here. Do, do you think this team could look radically different next year, given, you know, some of the guys that are free agents, Jack, or excuse me, Sam's an RFA. Uh, do you expect it, you know, there could be four or five, six more guys that have been here for a while uh, that aren't here anymore? Yeah, I mean, I think whenever you, you lose and, you know, you, you find the lack of success that we've had, I think that, uh, you know, this forces the organization to make changes. So I'm sure that there'll be changes coming. Uh, I don't know what they'll be, um, but, you know, just like you, I guess I'll wait and see. Hey, Jack. Uh, last off season, your name got tossed around in the rumor mill, and obviously that's going to happen again. How did you handle that, and how do you think you're going to handle that this time? Yeah, I mean, uh, you guys got to write about something, right? <laughs> What's that? I think you're on mute. It wasn't necessarily just in Buffalo. I mean, everywhere. But yeah. No, no. I'm, yeah, no, I'm saying not just you guys. I'm saying everyone. Yeah. You, you guys have a job to do. Um, <laughs> You guys got to write about something. Uh, no, I mean, listen, it's, it's part of it. Like, like I just said, you know, we, we haven't had, uh, we haven't had enough success and I haven't had enough success. I've obviously not, uh, you know, I've not obtained the goals that I, that I've set forth for myself as a professional hockey player and, you know, making the playoffs, winning, being successful. Um, so I, I, I think, uh, I think whenever that happens, I think you're always, uh, you know, vulnerable for rumor mills and potential trades. And, and as an organization, I'm sure that they're considering every option they have and, um, you know, what they want to do moving forward here. And, um, you know, like I told Bill, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to focus as much as I can on, on getting healthy and, and trying to be ready to play hockey next year and, and, and kind of, I guess maybe reestablish myself um, after, after I guess a tough, whatever it's been 12 months. Um, you know, I, I obviously know that uh, I have a lot, a lot more to give and to show to people. And I think last year I only scratched the surface, but um, you know, this year it was just, you know, from the start, it just didn't go well. And, you know, I, I, I didn't play well enough. Obviously, our team didn't, and, and things were just kind of off the rails from the beginning. And, um, you know, then you get hurt, and, you know, things are definitely really off there. So, uh, I think I'm, – I'm sure that the team's – I'm sure the team's uh, exploring every possible option and, and what they think they're going to do and, and, and where this organization is going to continue to move forward. Um, but like I said, I just – as long as I'm here, um, you know, my duty is to be, uh, be the leader of this team and, and uh, be available for these guys in the room. You know, I think that that, that might be one thing that kind of goes unknown is just how good of a, 
how good of a group there is here in terms of, you know, the guys in the room, it's, it's, it's a lot of really, really good people. And, um, you know, as, as bad as the losing was and things, you know, with how good of a group we have and, and how good the guys are, it made coming to the rink, uh, better on some of those bad days. And, um, I think that says a lot. Jeff, obviously you have an emotional connection to this team, um, but I want to ask you, how has your communication been with Kevin Adams while you've been away from the team? And what have conversations been like for you two? Uh, yeah, we've had a few conversations. Um, you know, it's been tough. I think that, uh, you know, with my injury, there's been, um, You know, there's, there's been a little bit of, uh, I think I said disconnect earlier, but um, yeah, there, there's been a little bit of it. I think, uh, you know, obviously, you know, your job's to try and help win hockey games, you know what I mean? And, and uh, I'm sure uh, as management, as coaches, you know, their main focus is, you know, producing wins on the ice and it's, it's, it's tough at times. And, and like I touched on with how, quickly games were coming and, and how little off days and time away we had this year, it, it made, it made for a really hectic, hectic schedule. And, um, you know, with, with my injury, there's been a little bit of, I guess, uh, you know, one side, you know, my own camp on one page and, and the team on another. And, um, yeah, that's been tough. I mean, we're, uh, you know, we're kind of going back and forth a bit on, you know, the, um, the best way to go about it and, and treatment. And, um, so there, there, there's been, uh, there's been a few conversations, but, um, you know, more so just about, uh, you know, getting healthy moving forward. Hey Jack, uh, I know you mentioned the kind of disconnect uh, between you and the organization as you were coming back from the neck injury. And I know you've had a few injuries in your career, but this was your first neck injury. I, I know you said before that you're still kind of like learning a little bit about this, about herniated discs and all that kind of stuff in general. Do you feel like the disconnect sort of stemmed between short-term interest and long-term interest? Maybe, you know, one side wanting to get you back in, into the swing of things as soon as possible, try to put off surgery if, if possible. And maybe another side said, you know, we got to think of the, the long-term here, get surgery ASAP, get you ready, make sure you're ready for camp next year. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, like my, my number one, my number one interest and my number one goal is, is Jack Eichel. I mean, you know what I mean? You got to look after yourself. You got to look after what you think's best for yourself. And, you know, the organization has a similar job to do, but it's to look after what's best for the Buffalo Sabres. So, uh, yeah, it was tough. Like, I, I think that there was a little bit of, uh, things, I guess, maybe just haven't been very black and white to put it to put it in perspective i think um we're all trying to educate ourselves in the situation and what would be best moving forward and uh so i think that uh yeah there's been there's been some tough conversations but um you know like i gotta do what's best for me you know what i mean um i'm only gonna play hockey for so long 24 years old hopefully i have Many more good years in this uh, in this amazing game left, but you know I gotta I gotta take care of myself and um, you know so I I, I think that uh, yeah it's it's been tough at times, but I'll come out on the other end of it and before uh, before I know it I'll be back on the ice and I look forward to that. Hey Jack, um, <clears throat> a lot to process here. Uh, yeah, you, you uh, as you said. You got to do what's best for you. If if what's best for you isn't to, to be in Buffalo anymore, how confident are you that management and ownership would would honor that that request or that 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 feeling from you? I think, as I just kind of mentioned, uh, yeah, I mean, I can do what's best for me, but they got to do what's best for them. So it's a business. It's just like any other business. You know what I mean? You, you gotta. You know, if you're at the top of this business or whatever, like, you, I mean, you got to do what's best. The Buffalo Sabres have to do what's best for the Buffalo Sabres. You know what I mean? And I understand that. Like, that's just part of the business, I bet you. 
if you asked any NHL player, I think that they would all be on the same page. Like you got to, you got to do what's best for your organization. And as a player, you have to protect your own interests, what's best for you. So, um, I think, uh, there's, there's a lot to, uh, yeah, there's a lot to process. I mean, it's a, it's obviously not the season that anyone wanted to have, you know, other than maybe Rhino, he had a good year. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I'm sure these conversations will be had and, um, you know, things will go from there. Hey Jack, how much does who the next coach will be? How much does that factor into your decision as to whether you want to be here or not moving forward? How much does that factor into, into any thoughts you have about your future? Uh, I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it, Heather. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure, unfortunately, I've played for a few coaches here. You know, I didn't get the opportunity to play for Donnie, but I do know him. I've played for him before at the national team. And, you know, he's a tremendous, tremendous guy. I think he's he's got a great mindset. And, obviously, there was a good connection between him and the players. So, it was nice to see. And uh, But I, I'm not really sure where the uh, – coaching side of things stands and you know I, I don't really know um I'm not sure <laughs> Jack I, I guess I'm, I'm puzzled and I'm coming at this from a standpoint of you know if I were with my doctor it's my decision what I want to do and I guess my question is if you want surgery or if you don't want surgery whatever your thought is on that why don't you just do what you would like to do it's your body it's your decision yeah, with a doctor work like that paul <laughs> is it the, is it because a, a contract yeah it doesn't work like that i wish i mean yeah you, you can't uh i guess that's that's you hit the nail on the head there you know what i mean yeah that's it i mean you uh yeah i mean obviously i'm under contract with this team and um they definitely hold a lot of uh, a lot of cards on what I can and can't do. Jack, that's kind of where I'm going. I mean, clearly, you'd like to <clears throat> have surgery and get this taken care of. Is what I'm reading from all this. What's your information, though? If you have surgery, how long would you be out? I mean, is have they told you, you know, a month, six months, a year? I mean, based on what they no, told no, I'll be. Yeah, it's uh. It's a pretty quick recovery, so. So what's it's quick. The, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's a quicker recovery. Like there's, you know what I mean. So, um, just like anyone, I think in my position, you just want to try and put yourself in as good a position as you can to, to be be ready to rock when the puck drops next year. That's that's my goal. So, you know, I've had a talk to a whole heck of a lot of people and. A lot of different opinions, so uh, just try to inform myself as much as I can. Obviously, this is kind of like uh, uncharted territory for probably a lot of us and how to move forward and, um, you know, just trying to, trying to do what's best for Jack Eichel in the long term, you know, because, you know, one day, hopefully a long time from now, I won't play any more hockey and my career will be over and I got to be a father and a husband and, you know, my responsibilities change. So, uh, you know, there's a lot to take into it. I mean, we're not talking about just like a black and white ankle sprain or separated shoulder. I mean, you know, we're talking about a herniated disc in your neck. It's a serious thing. So, uh, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of things that go into it. Thank you, Jack. All right, all set. All right, take care, guys. Have a great summer.